I watched all 190 snaps of Lucas Van Ness from this season, and I am very confident to say this guy's going to be one of the best defensive players in the NFL. Lucas Van Ness is an absolute beast, and you see it on tape over and over and over and over again. And today we're going to analyze his tape from the first half of this season. Eight games Van Ness has played in, but he's only played 190 snaps. So he's really a part-time player at the moment, but you see so many disruptive plays on tape. Plays where he's winning his blocks and maybe he's half a second late to getting the sack or the quarterback hit. But the guy looks good. On this one, you're going to have a run stunt where the defense is going to slant towards the right. Van Ness is going to jump to the inside. And defenses have started to do this a little bit more this season to really disrupt the blocking angles, the timing, and those type of things by the offensive line blockers. In this instance, he obviously jumps back to the inside. In this one, Carl Brooks happens to slant. He resets the line of scrimmage. The running back basically runs right into him, and Van Ness is going to come and clean it up. That's a really nice explosive rep by Van Ness, by Carl Brooks, and of course, this one loses five yards. But there's a lot of good snaps on tape, so I'm very excited to get into his tape. Let's get right into it. You got another really nice rep here. Watch Van Ness get off the block on this one and recognize the inside run, and he's going to blow it up. So really nice job recognizing and being able to play with that effort to make the play. Some guys will not make this play. Some guys will not be able to get there. That's not Van Ness. So that's a great job by him. Let's get into the next snap. You got a really nice, powerful rep by Van Ness on this one. Uh, he's going to generate a little bit of pressure. To me, it's a really, really nice job to be able to get the left arm into the tight end, generate the pressure, force the quarterback off the spot. Now, the quarterback does pick up eight yards, but again, Van Ness does his job. So really, really nice job in my opinion, to get the left hand right into the tight end. The tight end's going to try to lock in. It really doesn't work. And Van Ness just overpowers this guy. And ultimately, the tight end hits the running back there and slips. And the quarterback has to get out of there. So really nice job generating some pressure. If the containment was a little bit better on the left side, Van Ness may have been able to get a sack on this one. All right, But you'll see that ultimately the quarterback's able to get out of there because of the fact that the outside linebacker drops off. 94 doesn't take a wide enough angle. Not a big deal. Pretty nice rep. Let's get into the next snap. You got a really, really nice rep here by Lucas Van Ness. He's going to beat the left tackle. And he doesn't get to the quarterback, but this is kind of what you can expect from Van Ness. Now, the play is obviously an incomplete pass. This is also a three-step drop by the quarterback. So most three-step drops you're not getting sacks on, right? The quarterback has to hit either a five-step or seven-step drop. For you to have a real shot at the quarterback, right? The only truly, truly elite guys can get to a quarterback on the th three-step drops. And most of the time, the quarterback has to look away from the first read. In this instance, he throws it to his first read. Uh, but let's talk about this play a little bit. You know, Van Ness does a good job. He's going to initially bull rush. And then he's going to turn the bull rush into a rip move. And you can see Van Ness ultimately gets past this offensive tackle, right? If this quarterback went to his second read, Van Ness is hitting this guy. So you can see the guy's right there. He's getting very, very close to possibly getting a sack. And of course, do keep in mind, the guy doesn't play a whole lot, right? So he really doesn't have the ability to get into a rhythm. Uh, 20 snaps a game, that's just not enough. But you definitely see some of the flashes. So that's a pretty nice rep right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. You got another really, really nice rep here by Van Ness. He's going to beat the tight end on this one. He's going to generate pressure. And ultimately, the quarterback's going to throw the ball away. So once again, Van Ness is getting pressure. On this one, he obviously does get the quarterback hit as well. This is the explosive ability that Lucas Van Ness has. So really nice job. Throws the tight end off of him. Generates some pressure. Really nice rep. Let's get into the next snap. Just a little bit of criticism. One of the things I need Van Ness to continue to develop is going to be the pass rush technique. Right? Really develop the hand-to-hand -hand technique. Uh, I know there's been guys in the past that have been drafted that haven't had great hand-to-hand -hand combat. Be able to double hand swipe effectively, be able to swim over the top and set up the power to speed, the jump cuts, the hezzies. There's been guys drafted that have not been able to do that, but they've developed it. And that's part of what Van Ness is going to have to continue to develop because a lot of his wins are power based at the moment. Not a big deal. I just wanted to point that out. Let's get into the next snap. Check this rep out. You got a really, really nice rep by Van Ness. Uh, he's going to control the tight end on this one. This is a really good tight end, especially in the run blocking. And Van Ness crushes this play. And this play picked up no yards, so second and eight. This is one of those moments that an offense needs to pick up some yards. You see Van Ness do a great job with the hands. At the same time, it's a very, very physical at the point of attack. Absolutely crushes TJ Hawkinson, throws him to the side. 
and blows this play up. That's a really, really nice, powerful rep right there. Let's get into the next snap. You got another really nice high effort play here by Lucas Van Ness. He's going to bull rush the left tackle. He's going to get off the block. He's going to chase the quarterback. He's going to get a really, really nice hit on the quarterback. Now, technically, the play doesn't count because there was a penalty downfield on the defense. But I do like the effort here, right? This was third and three. Had there not been a penalty downfield, this would have been a really nice rep by Lucas Van Ness, right? You would have ultimately forced the team to basically settle for a field goal. And one of the things that Van Ness showed us coming out of college was is that he plays with high effort. So that's a really, really nice rep right there by, by Van Ness. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Very similar to the last play, high effort, processing, being able to recognize kind of what's happening out in front. And on this one, he's going to make the play. So it's a really, really nice job by Van Ness. Really good job processing and being able to read what's kind of happening. He feels that the tackle's kind of letting him push him back a little bit. He's trying to bait him into the screen possibly, and you can see Van Ness get off the block and make the play. Love the effort right there. Check this one out. Van Ness is going to do a really, really nice job reading, recognizing, and blowing this one up. Uh, understands the concept here. All right. One of the things the Lions love to do is run zone runs, which means Van Ness on the backside is going to go unblocked. Now, this play right here was a bad job, in my opinion, by the offense, not having a tight end lineup over here and forcing Van Ness to be even a little bit further to the outside, because if you're going to let him be this close to the running back in your running zone over here, Van Ness is going to blow the play up. And of course, on this one, he does just that. He reads the offensive lineman here. He's going to jump the gap and blow it up. Really, really nice job by Van Ness. Let's go ahead and get into the next snap. Now, of course, as we're breaking down Van Ness, you do got to understand that this guy's a very, very raw football player. He didn't play a whole lot back at Iowa. Uh, he was a really a rotational player, but the upside for him was there, right? And I feel like one of the things the Packers do is they kind of draft based off of potential, and they've hit on a couple of guys. Devontae Wyatt, Quay Walker, Rashawn Gary, these are three really, really, really good players. And I think Lucas Van Ness is kind of in that same mold, and I would even make the argument that Van Ness has more upside than those other three guys. To me, Van Ness has elite power. He has very, very high processing, super smart, and he has all the physical tools you would want, right, in a defensive end. And this is one of those guys that has elite power, and he really flashes that on tape. Oftentimes, he's pushing people back. Like you see on this one, the tight end here does a pretty good job. Van Ness is going to get the left hand into the tight end, the tight end's going to snatch the arm down right there, which does remove the leverage. You can see Van Ness kind of gets off balance right there. But Van Ness does a great job recovering, readjusting the hands. And look at Van Ness control, push, and just kind of throw the tight end to the side. And he makes it look effortlessly. Even though he's off balance, he does a really, really good job. This is the elite power that Van Ness has. You got another really nice rep by Van Ness. He's going to reset the line of scrimmage. He's going to throw the tight end off of him. He's going to get off the block. And he's going to make the play. Uh, this time, the running back only picked up about one yard, and I love how Van Ness plays this. Both hands land right to the tight end's chest, explosive, creates the separation, gets off the block, and when the running back tries to bounce this to the outside, he blows it up. Really, really nice job. Let's get into the next snap. You got a great play here by Van Ness. He's, he's going to get blocked here by the right tackle, and watch him swipe away the tackle's leverage there. Gets off the block and gets a pretty nice hit on the quarterback. This is the type of pass rush that he needs to just continue to fine tune. Uh, it does work, right? You can see it on this one. When he locks in with the offensive tackle, the left hand's going to swipe there. The right tackle is going to basically get removed off the leverage. And just like that, he's going to get to the quarterback. And he does technically knock the ball away, it looks like, on this one. So that's a good job right there by Van Ness. Talk about explosive first step. I mean, this right here is freaking impressive as hell powerful runs right through there and basically tackles the running back for a loss of one yard you know it's crazy to think this but back in the pre-draft process i said ben ness is the one wild card that could eventually become the best edge player out of this class and at the moment you can make the argument he has been one of the best ones will anderson has looked great and will anderson's definitely the real deal and tyree wilson's looked okay as well but you can make the argument Van Ness is actually better than Tyree Wilson based off the snaps. Now, both guys have been limited, but Van Ness has been flashing since week one. And Tyree Wilson really hasn't done anything up until the last couple of weeks. But it's going to be interesting as both guys kind of continue to develop because both guys are kind of similar. They're long, they're lengthy, they're physical. Both guys are kind of raw. This past class was great 
to find these raw type of prospects. So it'll be interesting as these guys kind of continue to develop. I want to wrap this video up showing you guys just a couple more snaps from the week one game against the Chicago Bears because he did get his one sack of the season against the Bears in that week one game. Now, obviously, everybody's seen the sack. The quarterback basically rolled to the right. Uh, and Ben Ness was on that side, and he ultimately made the play. But I don't think people truly appreciate within this play what Ben Ness kind of does. So Justin Fields here is going to basically play action. And when a quarterback play actions, Ben Ness has to squeeze this gap down. And as the quarterback rolls out of there, he has to change direction and run with the quarterback, who is arguably the second fastest quarterback in the NFL. And these are the type of plays that Van Ness has flashed on tape. The ability to change direction. The ability to recognize kind of what's happening out in front of him. To be able to see what's happening, processing. These are the type of plays that Van Ness, as he develops the hand-to-hand -hand passers technique, this stuff right here is second nature. He's going to continue to do this type of stuff right here. And these are the type of plays you're going to see. You're going to see high effort plays, change direction and blow plays up, those end arounds that teams are going to try to run at him. He's not going to have it. And this is why I've said this in the past, and I'll say it again. Lucas Van Ness has the most potential on the defensive line in this draft class. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. We are definitely going to continue to cover the Packers. We're definitely going to continue to do Packers content. Uh, there's a couple of defensive players that I wanted to touch bases on. Rashawn Gary, Devontae Wyatt, as well as Koi Walker. And we'll definitely get into those over the next couple of weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.